Are you serious? Are you serious? There's this huge cloud, this chemical haze that has just come ashore in the United Kingdom and people are sick, about 150 people now hospitalized, sore throats, vomiting, passing out, uh, burning eyes. It just come across the ocean, it just come, it just come onto the <clears throat> shoreline there in the United Kingdom. And uh, with no explanation here, they have no understanding what's causing this. Uh, here's the deal. The beachy head chemical haze mystery deepens as police are now saying the gas is not from France. France is saying, we didn't do it. Well, somebody did it, and it is very bad, folks. As the world continues to watch what's unfolding in Houston, Texas, and along the entire Gulf Coast, as Hurricane Harvey is going back out into the Gulf of Mexico only to restart again and come back. The mystery now over this nauseous chemical haze that has drifted ashore along um, the coast of the United Kingdom has put scores of people in the hospital and the story deepens as police have said it's unlikely to have come from France. Well, who did it then? 150 people, around 150 people, are in the hospital to be treated for burning eyes, vomiting, sore throats, after this mystery gas came ashore near the beachy head yesterday afternoon. A senior officer said on Sunday there had been previous incidents when stuff has come across from the industrial units in France. But the French are denying that this came from them. Now, <clears throat> officers say today that the wind patterns suggested the cloud had not come from the continent. But scientists suggest the haze had been instead come from shipping in the channel or had blown from further along the English coast. The haze had dispersed pretty well by this morning. But it, it hung around, folks, all Saturday or Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, and scores of people being sick rushed to the hospitals. Thousands of visitors are expected to travel to the area for the bank holiday uh, coming up now, and some of the hottest weather of the year is expected. And the last thing they need is to have some kind of chemical haze. What? And uh, this is, I mean, this is the kind of stuff that's going on out there. So anyway, um, it's not just Houston that's got a problem. It's, it's the United Kingdom and many other places of the world. We'll continue to keep a close eye on this one because these types of chemical uh, gases that are being released out there, and we, nobody knows where they're coming from, the winds can just blow them in from another country. So this is really weird. It's really, really weird. The uh, It's a phenomenon that uh, no one knows the answer to. I'm sure they're going to be doing some testing on some of the residue of this haze to find out who's to blame and from where it came from and to what it is and the effects upon the human beings in that area. So pray for the folks that are at the United Kingdom along the shore of the Beachy Head there area. And uh, we'll keep a close eye on the story and keep you up to speed. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. We're certainly living in the last days. We have a complete analysis of Houston coming up in our, our broadcast uh, that's coming up on the coming apocalypse. I'll be live at 12 noon Eastern. That's 12 noon Eastern with complete analogy and updated information. Over 2,000 people have been rescued now. And there are still, uh, right as we speak, 185 critical cries for rescue going on right now as the floodwaters continue to rise and the rain continues to fall in Houston. So we're praying. So far there's been five deaths and, uh, and dozens injured, but not as bad as this could have been. I'll be back with more, folks, in just a moment.